from traveling the world to nasty rumors of divorce, has Steve and Marjorie Harvey's marriage been the real family feud? He might now be a five-time Emmy winner, but once upon a time, Steve Harvey was just an up-and-coming comic performing in small comedy clubs in Memphis in the 1980s. And it was during one of these performances that Steve first set his eyes on the woman who would become his third wife, Marjorie Harvey. She came to the show late, and Steve stopped his performance when he saw her. Marjorie recounted on Steve's TV show in 2018, I was late, and I thought he was gonna give me the business because he got real quiet. Marjorie went on to add, He finally realized, okay, I gotta say something. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna marry her. Soon after Steve and Marjorie's first meeting, the two struck up a relationship. This first attempt was simply not to be, as things went downhill for Steve. Steve confessed during an episode of Family Feud. But I was becoming homeless, and so we only dated for a year, and I didn't have the money, so I never drove back to see her. By the time Steve got his big break with its showtime at the Apollo, Marjorie was already married, meaning they could no longer be together. But this was not the end of the road for the couple. Steve and Marjorie reconnected in 2005 and got married in 2007, two years into their second relationship round and some two decades after their first meeting. If there is one thing Steve and Marjorie Harvey love to do, it is travel. From skiing with their kids in Colorado to camel riding through Egypt, the Harveys know how to have fun, and there simply is no stopping them. To celebrate 12 years of love in 2019, Steve and Marjorie took a trip to Italy. That same year, the couple was in Cancun for Steve's Sand and Soul Festival and Marjorie's 55th birthday. And while some of these trips are aimed at relaxing and having a good time, other times it is for purposes beyond pleasure. In 2019, Steve and Marjorie went on a soul-stirring trip to Ghana. He wrote on Instagram, Powerful beyond words that I can explain. I encourage as many of you as possible to go home for your ancestors. Other excursions are a family affair, like in May 2022, when Marjorie shared the cutest family photo of herself and Steve with four of their kids vacationing in Abu Dhabi. Steve has gone to the United Arab Emirates a number of times over the years, and has shared how much he enjoys spending time there. As he said in Parade in January 2022, "...my recent visit to Dubai and Abu Dhabi had personal and professional aspects to it, but was wholly driven by my great love of the people and culture." The poster children for what a blended family could look like, Steve and Marjorie Harvey have seemingly hacked the secret to co-parenting all of their seven kids. It wasn't all roses in the beginning, as there was some initial resistance with the children. But trust Steve and Marjorie to handle it like pros. Marjorie told People in a 2016 interview, "...when you're dealing with a blended family, everyone is coming from a place of broken. We knew this was right. But I just told them, everyone is included. Everyone has access to their parents. Whatever you didn't have before, don't let that interfere with what you can have now." From his first marriage to Marsha Harvey, Steve welcomed twin daughters Carly and Brandy, as well as son Broderick Harvey Jr. Fourth child Winton Harvey came during his marriage to Mary Shackelford, his second wife. Marjorie has three kids from her previous marriages, Morgan, Jason, and Lori Harvey. Upon her marriage to Steve, the TV host adopted all of his wife's kids and has since raised them as his own. Speaking in 2009, Steve revealed on Good Morning America that he and Marjorie decided to ditch the term stepchildren because it didn't feel right for their family. I never referred to uh, my youngest daughter as my stepdaughter, she's my daughter, she's my son, because it, it, I don't want them to feel alienated when I introduce them, you know." Of the numerous things they enjoy doing together, Steve and Marjorie Harvey understand the importance of giving back to society and have teamed up to do just that. The power couple founded the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation, a nonprofit initiative aimed at providing young people from low-income homes with mentorship and educational resources. To achieve their objectives, the foundation employs different strategies, which sometimes includes them partnering with public figures. In June 2022, media personality Willie Moore announced that he will be partnering with the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation to serve as a mentor to young boys. 
Also in May 2022, Business Wire reported that Steve and Marjorie purchased a ranch in Georgia, which will serve instrumental to furthering the goals of their foundation. Steve explained to the outlet, Marjorie and I share this vision. We are going to give young people and the community of Upson County pathways that will help develop their dreams. Like every other power couple, Steve and Marjorie have been through a lot together, but if anything, it has only made them stronger. In 2018, Steve and Marjorie were faced with cheating and divorce rumors. After Radar Online reported that the fashion designer was asking for $400 million in divorce settlement after catching her husband in an affair with Kris Jenner, an insider claimed to the outlet, there was a huge blowout fight and Marjorie walked out threatening divorce. Though there was no substantial proof to back up these claims, it was not long before another rumor about them sprung up. In 2019, Radar Online once again reported that the television host was preparing to file for divorce and liquidating his assets to that effect. A source told the outlet, Steve learned a lesson from his drawn-out divorce from second wife Mary. It took him years to get their properties into his name. This time, however, the Harveys were not having it and were quick to refute the rumor. Marjorie later said to Hollywood Life, We're good, always. We're prayed up. Prayer works. We're covered. Understandably, the Harveys were not thrilled that these salacious stories were making the internet rounds. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Steve told reporters in 2018, They act like I don't have family. They act like my kids can't read. They don't care. They just go out to destroy people with no facts behind it. Behind every successful man is his lady, and Steve Harvey is seemingly no exception. To celebrate the couple's 15th anniversary in June 2022, Steve penned a sweet letter to Marjorie for good housekeeping, reminiscing on their years together. The famed comic wrote, Nearly two decades have flown by, and I have felt lucky every single one of those days. In the letter, Steve recalled his earliest days with Marjorie, how they lost touch at some point and how they eventually reconnected. He finished up by thanking Marjorie for her love and support through the years, adding, You are the single biggest reason outside of God's grace that I am where I am today. You're the one. I feel like if I lost everything, you'd stay with me and we'd build it up again. As a matter of fact, I know you would. In an interview with the Washington Post, Steve credited Marjorie for creating creating a safe environment for him and providing him with the needed peace to thrive in his career, telling the outlet, It freed my mind up to become the creative that I wanted to be. Talk about a man who appreciates his lady. Steve Harvey has redefined dad fashion, and we just might have Marjorie Harvey to thank for it. In a May 2022 interview with E! News Daily Pop, Steve opened up about his fashion journey and the role his other half has played in it. The TV star recalled, She said, Steve, look, you've been on TV, you've got a brand, you protected it for so long. She said, So this is what I want you to think. I want you to start dressing like you dress offstage, but I'm gonna get you some help because you don't have time to go shopping. Marjorie would later team up with Steve's stylist, Ellie Caramo, for a major major closet overhaul, and the result is what we all see and love today. But we're apparently not the only ones feeling it, as the television host is most grateful for Marjorie's wardrobe intervention. Steve told GQ in October 2021, It was a breath of fresh air for me because it took the shackles off. And even though I'm 64 years old, my motto is to be fly till I die. Of course, Marjorie's involvement in Steve's fashion is barely a surprise, seeing that she has, over the years, proved herself to be as stylish as they come. In a true rags-to-riches story, Steve Harvey went from being homeless to being one of Hollywood's most revered talk show hosts. And according to him, none of this happened by chance. Steve said on MSNBC's Politics Nation in 2013, You can't grow without change, and that's the one thing that I have been willing to do. I have been willing to accept the changes that are necessary in order to reinvent yourself and grow. So if you don't show the proper amount of gratitude, you're never going to be happy. 
As expected, Steve's success has translated to him making big bank through the years. As of 2022, Steve's estimated net worth is $200 million per celebrity net worth, with most of it coming from his work hosting gigs across radio and television. In 2018, Steve made his way to spot number 5 on Forbes' list of highest paid TV hosts, with a reported $44 million salary from over the previous year. Though not quite as wealthy as her husband, Marjorie has also seemingly amassed a fortune for herself over time. According According to Celebrity Net Worth, Marjorie is worth a whopping $50 million, with her main source of income listed as fashion design. As for what they do with their heaps and heaps of cash, plunk it down on impressive real estate, of course. As Dirt reported in 2020, they bought a jaw-dropper of a $15 million Atlanta mansion that was previously owned by Tyler Perry. Not too shabby.